Today I'm doing a quick review of this Dymo Label Writer Turbo 450 printer for printing postage labels for your shop with barcodes, for example, address labels. There's all kinds of different things you can do with it. I've had this for a very long time and it still works perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to set it up. I'm going to show you what's in the box and I'm going to show you how to use it. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's in the box. So here you can see you've got your Label Writer 450 Turbo and it has some basic basic details about what's in the box and I'm going to go ahead and show you all of that now and this is the printer right here the Dymo Label Writer 450 you can see it has some connections here in the back we're going to be plugging into it comes with a roll of labels I'll show you how to put those in it comes with a cleaner card that you can put through your Dymo Label Writer you get this quick start guide which explains everything and one of the very cool things about this printer is that you you don't have to buy ink for it. The only thing you need to buy is labels. Your label printer is a direct thermal printer and does not use ink or toner. Instead, the printer uses heat from a thermal print head to print on specially treated labels. So that is very cool. You've got your warranty information and some other things here. I'll just go ahead and let you see this all. So you're going to have your Dymo label software and I'm going to show you how to install that, but I do recommend that you just download their most current software because it's going to be the most updated version of the software but you do want to have that installed before you actually plug your Dymo label writer into your printer. This is what the power cord comes in. You've got your power adapter here and your power cord. We're going to go ahead and plug our power cord into our power adapter just like this here. We're going to go ahead first and just put our disk in so you can see what it's like to download the software right onto our computer. Put in the disk. I'm just going to go to Finder on a Mac and here you can see you, it popped up. If I just double click here and then follow the prompts, then we're going to be able to download the software. But instead of doing that, I'm going to go ahead and eject this. And I would say instead, just go to get it the most updated recent software. And you can see you've got their Windows versions here and then their Mac versions here. And I would just update the most recent one that is compatible with your computer. Now we're going to go ahead and show you how that shows up when you download it. And it's just gonna look like this file here and you double click on it. And once you've downloaded it onto your computer, you'll find it in your applications and then we can just open it up here. And to be clear, you do wanna have your software downloaded before you plug your computer in. We're going to just go ahead and plug everything in and show you the rest of how this works before we look at the software. I'm just going to open the top here. We have our label writer spool for labels here and it's going to sound weird when you take it off but you just take it off just like this. You just pull it off and then you load the labels in and they load in in the direction of the arrow. See just like this and once you've got them loaded in you just go ahead and take this and put it on and just slide it all the way down so that it's nice and snug. You're going to go ahead and load it back into your printer just like this. And to start it, you'll see this right here is your label guide. It might be over here. And you can go ahead and just put this flush to this side here and push it in just a little bit. And then you can feed the label, but first you'll need to plug it in. So I'll go ahead and I'm just gonna close this up and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you've got your power adapter cord and you're just going to take the adapter end of it and plug it in just like that right there. And we want to go ahead and plug the power in. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. So I'll just take my power cord and I'm gonna plug it in behind me. You can hear it starting up and you can see that blue light right here and it will automatically feed the label but if it doesn't you just press on this. For example you can see that noise you heard it was the label feeding in but if it hadn't fed in I could just press this once and it will feed it to the next label for example. If you want to release the label you can just pull this here and you can pull it out just nice and easy like that. But for example if it was halfway fed in you could just press the eject button like that and it feeds it out and like I said we'll go ahead and refeed it back in just like this and I can push the guide up to the edge here just like that and then press this little blue button here and it feeds it so that the first label is ready to print. Now we'll go ahead and do a demonstration here in a minute. Let's just go ahead and see how to create our label on the computer. Now that I have this all the way moved over, I'll go ahead and push it down just like this and it is ready to go. 
We'll take our USB cable and we'll go ahead and plug it into the back just like this. See it's plugged in there and then you can just put these cords through the back guide here and because we have our software downloaded we can go ahead and plug this into the USB port of our computer and now we're all plugged in and we are ready to print. And we'll go ahead and show you how to set up your label. You can go, to, go ahead and go to your applications and you can open up your Dymo label printer and now you can see it's open and you can see that you have your Dymo label printer connected and you can see that this is blue so you are ready to print. First you have to find the right label for you and the label I'm using is this one. It's an address label and it's one and one eighth by three and a half and we're going to use this one by double clicking on it and then I'm going to add some text and I'm going to say your pool product. So that's an example and I'm going to put a UPC number on here so I am going to go ahead and put these on two different lines and you can see this says auto fit here if I want it to be the size of this print here at a 13 font then I would say shrink to fit and now I'm going to put a UPC code on here and I'm going to do that by going to insert and I could find an image of a UPC for example which I have here so I'm going to go ahead and click on it and then I'm going to look for a file and that's gonna open up my browse tool. And I know which one I'm looking for, so I'm gonna put that here to search for it. And you can see I found it. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. And you can see this is the image I searched for. So you could do this with any image. And then I'm gonna say, okay. And you can see that image is now on my label. So I'm gonna go ahead and move that. And I'm gonna make it a little bigger and move it over here a little bit more. Now I am ready to print. And so all I have to do at this point is just go ahead and say print. So we're gonna do that and watch how it prints out the labels. And for example, I can go up to two, three, however many labels and press print and it's going to print. All right and you saw that we just printed one and I'll show you the label. So this is what the label looks like. Now if we want to print more than one we'll just say how many we want to print. So you could be adding these to multiple products at a time and say print and we printed five this time and there you go. And you just pull down to tear them off and they just peel off just like this. You can just put them on your envelope, on your product, whatever you're using them for. And that is pretty much how it all works. I really hope you enjoyed my review of this Dymo Label Writer 450 Turbo Printer. I really like it. It's worked for a very long time. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and share this video. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.